Cluster Truck is an amazing indie-based delivery restaurant that offers 40-plus menu items, cooks everything fresh, and delivers curbside with no additional fees. Be sure to use our, our promo code HSC50 for 50% off your first order. Happy Thursday, Royals. I'm Kinsey Dreer. And I'm Garrett Doddridge here with your daily newscast for Thursday, March 18th, 2021. The NACAC Virtual College Fair features more than 500 colleges and universities from the U.S. and worldwide. Don't miss these one-day events. Sign up for you at the link below today. 2021 baseball trials will be held from March 15th through the 18th after school from 3 to 8 p.m. For Riley Dance Marathon, March 20th wraps up our one year of fundraising for the kids at Riley Hospital for Children. Everyone is welcome to join our Zoom dance this Saturday evening from 5.30 to 7 p.m. There will be Riley Stories, games, recognition of top fundraisers, and information on how to make a difference. The Zoom link is on the school website. For Virtual College of Fair, please visit enrichment programs in Naviance to view upcoming college summer programs. Many are offering virtual options, some offer college credits. There is a wide assortment of opportunities, so look soon before some have many de early deadlines. Reddit's Wall Street Bets community has spent a combined $300,000 on endangered wildlife conservation thanks to their recent plundering of New York hedge funds. The snowballing philanthropy started when members start suggested they ceremonially adopt a gorilla through the Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund, which operates in the Virunga Mountains of the Eastern Democratic Republic of the Congo and Rwanda. Since 1990, cities around the U.S. have gradually been cutting or dimming outdoor lights in order to help one of their most vulnerable populations, migratory birds. Lights Out programs organized by conservation civil societies, groups like the Audu Audubon Society have sprung up in 20 different states, plus D.C. and Toronto, and involve enlisting the help of landlords, their tenants, and business owners to make cities safe for migratory birds in the spring and fall. The most recent Lights Out program has organized itself in Philadelphia where a squadron of different advocates are trying to get multi-story apartments and businesses to dim or cut their outdoor lights between April 1st through May 31st and from August 15th to November 15th. Now to your Face in the Crowd student of the day. Hi Royals, welcome to this segment of Student in the Spotlight, where we ask your fellow classmates a few questions and you get to know them better. For today's Student in the Spotlight, we have Junior Neil Patel. We ask Neil three questions. First we ask, which is your favorite class and why? He stated math because he learned many concepts and terminology. Then we asked, what is your favorite movie or show that you've seen in the past year? And Neil responded with Star Wars. And lastly, we asked, what is your favorite quote and what does it mean to you? Neil responded with, first one in, last one out. It's an example of giving great effort. And this has been Jody Hurd with Student in the Spotlight. Starting this week, we will bring back HSC TV on the road to our Thursday newscasts. Every other week, we'll include a news episode of the series, while some weeks we'll show some of our favorite clips from the past episodes. Here's a short montage of what you can expect from the series. We're here today in Noblesville. Is the atmosphere in this place is super cool. Locally sourced food. Yeah. Tastes amazing. It's on Derek! Yeah. <laughs> that came out wrong. Credit card's gonna get declined. I'm talking about that. I'm talking about that. Now to your Southeastern Sports Network. How's it going, HSC? Welcome back to SSN, your number one source for all Royal Athletic news. I'm Davis Brown. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at Southeastern SN. Follow us on Instagram at Southeastern SN underscore. Now to your news. Your varsity girls track team beat Westfield with a score of 77 to 55. Way to go, ladies. Your varsity girls lacrosse team has a game tomorrow night against Noblesville at 7 at HSC. Good luck, ladies. The March Madness play-in games start today, and the round of 64 will start tomorrow at 12:15 with Virginia Tech versus Florida. Go head over to hscnews.com and check out a March Madness article by Davis Gehrig. Stephen Curry suffered a tailbone contusion in last night's matchup versus the Rockets. The Warriors still ended up winning 108 to 94. Today's athlete spotlight is on junior Blaine Wirtz. His favorite song is "Dreams and Nightmares" by Meek Mill. His favorite athlete is Barry Sanders, and his favorite quote is, I never left the field saying I could have done more to get ready, and that gives me peace of mind. 
That's all we have for you today, HSC. Have a great day, Royals.